as a solo mid and oh man oh 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 they know exactly what just happened Dicha, okay blink up north s4 gonna go for the body blocks they got the tether souls oh, and he lost the block oh almost first, I don't care. No miss, no miss. <laughs> first blood s4 he's having a rough time mid against the puck with ball and when i say rough time it's actually oh there's a dd still s4 he's gonna either phase shift or silence dash glow Ooh, he all dodges it there was nothing Short that he could do there. Once Puck was on the high ground, again, a kill like that will help out a bit. Mid and bottom lane, we will see Kuro go in. I don't know about this one working out. As long as No Tail keeps healing up Kuro, maybe they can do enough damage here, but he's so tanky. One more Anchor Smash is about to come in. Kuro, oh, he's going to get the kill, just barely. They saw him with his Observer Ward. Tide, oh, he's going to try and contest this one. Quill gets used, Ravage as well. S4 gets punished. No tail now. Can't really do too much. He's too low on HP. Anchor Smash is once again available. Great Ravage coming in from Cheshire Cat. Play your perspective of Puppy and just relive the moment. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Poor Clement. There's Kuro now diving the bottom line. Cheshire Cat, no TP this time, but he has got a Ravage. And Kuro and Big Daddy gonna get two, gonna get three. Puppy's caught out as well. That's an anti mate TP in Black Hole. Puppy's still alive. How long will he stay alive for as he does get brought down? But there's a kill under the tide. Anti mate forced back. Taking too much damage off of that. That Black Hole. Well, Sonico, S4, Silence, Epicenter, he gets the orb away, and S4 is still alive, Sonico needs a one or two more right clicks, will barely get it, but will come at the cost of his life, oh dear. Uh oh, mid lane tight end, Ravage, turning, looking to turn this one around, here comes J4, Burrow Strike on the Kuro, Kuro, he's gonna just, oh, he's almost winning the man fight until Dietrich shows up before they try and get out. As uh, Antime still just man fighting here, Lena hits the sun, Big Daddy gets brought, he gets saved by that, relocating in as well, and the Antime taking so much damage in the Midnight Pulse, Black Hole catches out, the Tide refusing to let him get that Ravage up, just the solo Black Hole, but... Since then, every pub game that you play, every... Every competitive match that you watch is just tied, 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 refresh, get refresher, then the game seems to turn. S4 mid I mean, gets I'm talking about refresher, he's a long way off, but they don't want to get too comfortable. S4 mid gets brought down once by the Aegis, he doesn't get the blink out, now he's going to drop a coil here, he's trying to save himself, but the Ancient Seal silences him up. Deecha, not enough damage from the mana boy, Fire Strike as well. They hate on to Deecha up for the Radiant side, caught up by his stun, there's a Laguna Blade waiting, Simba! Prepare to meet Pew Pew. Yeah, meanwhile, bottom lane though, they've actually broken the high ground here. Stanking forced to Fire Strike away from a slack, the whisk gonna fall this one up it looks like j4 can he get out of there no sorry lena shows up but the stuns are off the mark and big daddy no tail still alive on the wisp uh, the enigma heals crew right up there. Ravage now he's gonna come in and drop it immediately no maybe not please into the tree line cheshire cat what you doing my friend now the wisp gonna chase out big daddy or uh, rather anti mid go chase out the wisp big daddy though kept alive by the pipe he blinks into the trees he gets slowed by the tether a lot of commitment just for that with the am basher and the uh potentially an abyssal blade he might not just go for it his top lane they jump in with the slark he'll leap away they're gonna throw strike through here. Where's that big daddy relocate? He's sitting in the back lines and he tethers. Oh, they made oh. out the ravage! Cheshire Cat, that was a bit late, man. He had enough time to cancel that. That one. was like a full second. I, yeah. Maybe he's lagging. Uh, that was really late. Oh, Miss Lena's done on arrival. No tell. We'll get the tether away. Don't think he's going to survive anyways. I think there's a mana void. Not needed. Now they've got a big creep way. Happy center. Channeling up now. Who's he going to jump on? Only onto the Enigma who did not pop his pipe or his mech. Puppy will get both off, but it's too late. He's already taking way too much damage. We'll go down. So Yule's the Slark. In the meantime, your puck is split pushing the top lane, but it also means one of their key team fight components is out of this fight. So Kuroki's forced to back. While Simba leaps in, they'll lose the big daddy with That's a dieback for him. He's really been struggling this game quite a bit. Soniko, though, in trouble. Oh, Tyler zaps down the Slark. You're neither, not going to get to keep them with the gem gone. Neither of those here is his buyback. This is definitely a dead Dyer's range rack, possibly melee as well. Oh, the Giant Slayers may be slain by a giant here. Kuroki leaping onto Cheshire Cat. He's going to throw it on the Dark Pack. <laughs> this teacher mantled in with an Abyssal Blade and just blows up no tail. Here comes the Epis and a Ravage combo. Perfect synergy coming up from the PR team fight, and even with the two supports dead. And Krogi's a little too big though. He's gonna bring down Jigar out once. He looks for J4, who got stunned by that puck. Will end up going down now, leaping away to the south. They'll leap forward. Do they get a bash here? Well, not gonna happen. He's got 26 essence ship stacks. That is just massive. You cannot fight this slack right now. And the agility is just insane. They didn't actually get melee, but they force out a buyback here, and that's on, on your say, okay, not the biggest deal. Is the Arrow gonna kill Mystic Flare? Everything thrown out at Kuro. <laughs> can cancel the Burrow Strike, the Lima Stun, and Rules, as well as the Sansom. Awesome. Yeah. There's like seven or eight ways to cancel this black hole, so you really can't be relying on it.
Yeah, they missed the combo bottom lane. Now relocating, but uh, who's no tell? Bringing two hero black hole. Virus strikes there waiting. So just the one kill, but it's the anti mage of all heroes. He leaped out and broke the coil and just got clipped by the profitable. Anti mage. After that buyback, probably not picking up any items anytime soon. And Anti Mage definitely does not outlay game a Slark 1v1, especially not when the Slark is a Wisp backing him up. Yeah. I think Slark may be even going Hex against the Anti Mage. He's picked up an ultimate orb and having oh. a Hex. Look at that coil break, God. dude. He's still stunned. Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> they want this Anti Mage. Unfortunately, they don't have enough follow up. They're going to bring down Big Dang No Tail instead on the PR side. Sanking in the break. His Slark is just going to town here. Kuro trying to get those Essence Chip stacks once again. Sanking and Skyrath dead, and well, Tide Rabbit. What? Was what? <laughs> GG. He's trying to go in, but that was not going to work out. Yeah, I, I don't think he had real backup. Maybe you kill one with like the help of Laguna. Oh, now Slack is going to go in. He does have the Abyssal Blade. Uses on S4. Will get the puck kill while Kuroki just ignores him. And happily turns for I love that Lena Agate of Scepter. Just zapping heroes. The Smithereen. But they do lose two lanes of Rax and. Secret now sitting on four buybacks, about to be five once no tail farms 300 gold. PR need to get like two, three team wipes in a row to turn this around. Yeah. That's going to be tough. Antimage needs that evasion help and ASAP. Lena coming to back him up. Dietra going to go down anyways. And uh, I guess there's still four PR heroes alive. But yeah, they plus 81 agility from that. I was just about to say, Secret can win the game off this. They just buy back Puck and Profit, knowing Antimage doesn't have buyback himself. Yeah, Cheshire Cat goes down, doesn't have his Ravage. Even if he did, it really wouldn't matter. Now they scratch Sun Eco and PR. Not so mighty or morph in this game, gods. I don't. I guess we don't get to play their song, which is the main reason why I'm always sad when we are losing, because I love playing that goddamn song. But. So they had an all right show. Like they, the game was close for a long time, I feel. But I don't know. Small things didn't go. Well, some small things didn't go their way, and just like when when uh, Secret first got that bottom racks, it was like just the two two supports getting caught out unnecessarily. So yeah.